We're gonna embrace our parents, not ignore them. We're gonna press forward with a curriculum that includes listening to parents' input. Candidates like Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin won their races with campaigns focused on parental rights in schools. But in school board races this month, Politico is reporting that Democrats are handily defeating their Republican opponents, and that winning streak is most noticeable, guess where? In races where conservatives pack their agendas with race, gender, and specific parental involvement in classrooms. Becky Pringle, president of the National Education Association, joins me now. Becky, tell me what you're hearing from parents. It's good to be with you again, Stephanie. You know, we have been talking with parents all over this country, and this is what they've said to us, that candidates who are running from school board to gubernatorial, to, to, to governor's office, um, who are talking about banning books and censoring teachers and not allowing students to be who they are, are not candidates who are listening to them. Parents have been very, very clear. What matters to them is making sure that they have resources in their public schools, making sure me we're meeting the mental health needs of their students, making sure that they have qualified educators in every classroom. Those are the things that parents have been talking about. And I will tell you, Stephanie, that parents are natural allies of educators across this country. And so we work together in the elections in the fall and these most recent elections in, in April. And that is how we won by saying to voters, this is what we need for our students. It seems that there's a misconception out there that parents that want involvement are just focused on books they want banned or critical race theory. But parents, the, the overwhelming majority of parents who want to be involved are the things that matter to them more things like making schools safe, addressing learning loss. That's exactly right. Stephanie, you, what parents aren't, aren't concerned about banning books. They trust educators to make those decisions, teaching and learning decisions for their students. Parents have been involved in our students' education forever. I'm a parent myself. I'm a grandparent. As a teacher of science for over 30 years, I always partner with my parents. Parents have that access all the time. And we work together as partners to do what we know our students need. And you're absolutely right. They're concerned about making sure that we pass safe gun laws, safe safety in schools. We wanna focus on making sure that we're not focused on drills for students instead of providing the resources that they need. We wanna focus on those mental health issues that parents are saying that their students uh, need us to focus on. We need to make sure we have resources in our school that teachers can have that one-on-one -on -one intention with our students. That's what our parents are saying to us and that's what voters are saying to those candidates. And we saw that in election after election just this past April. And what are teachers telling you? What is their take on these issues? Because some parts of the media would have you think it's teachers versus the parents. And I have a sinking feeling that is absolutely not the case. Parents and teachers have worked together forever, and that's absolutely happening now. And we saw that in, in election after election. I was just in Missouri, and we were celebrating the fact that they elected 83% of their pro-public education candidates. And that happened because parents and teachers did the work of talking to voters and lifting up the issues that were important to their students. They were making calls. They were telling their own stories. And that's what made voters come out and say, we want people who are going to protect and defend public education, who are gonna perfect and pr protect and defend educators who have dedicated their lives to educating America's students. We want our students to have what they need and what they deserve. And that's what voters did in Missouri. In Illinois, we had 90% of our pro-public education candidates elected. And Stephanie, you may not know this, but hundreds of NEA members 
won school board elections across this country too. When educators and parents come together and talk about what their students need, that in November, and we proved it again just this spring. Becky Pringle, thank you so much for educating us tonight. Always good to see you. Thank you, Stephanie. When we come back.